Right, hello everyone. So uh, I'm going to show you here. This is Wayne Galea. I'm using Unreal Engine 4.12.5. Simple. We stick to this one. I'm not sure if it, what I'm about to do will work in other versions. Uh, Unreal is a bit flaky about different versions, but let's just see how this goes. So I'm going to show you a simple little health bar with a regeneration concept. In other words, the health goes up and increases, um, and this hopefully will help you when you're creating your games and design your games so here i am i'm going to create a new project third person i suggest you do the same don't interfere with your current work it's best to sort of play test this and put it in with what you're doing so i'm just going to create a third person create, create project bump here we go so <clears throat> let's just press play so this is your standard third person now what i'm going to do is create a, a, a underneath his feet we're going to have a little menu a little health bar that's going to increase in time anyway so there you are so we're going to go into blueprints i'm going to create a new first thing we're going to do is create a brand new blueprint so i'm going to scroll down here user interface i want to create a widget the widget is the thing that displays it on the screen so i'm going to call this oops sorry I should have clicked it first thing I want to do is rename it call it health bar health bar widget widget yeah I'm calling it what you want really I'm just calling it that because it's what it is it's a little widget that displays the health bar that's my name and my blueprint let's go into here now so i'm going to move that tag and i'm going to move it up there so it's easy to edit so this is my screen here and i'm going to put a little bar here so use a progress bar and we drag and drop it where we want it i'm going to put it here you can put it where you want in your game but i want it on his feet about there now that's what it's going to look like uh let's have a look at some colors let's make it green to me <clears throat> so now we need a variable and um, we're going to graph and we're going to create a variable and it's going to be a uh, health percentage we'll call this one percentage okay and this is going to be a float and oh, has it lost it oh, don't know why it does that health percentage health percentage and it's editable this one ed tick editable so we can change it um click compile so it saves it click designer and we want to bind this to that variable so let's look at percentage per there it is percentage we bind it to health percentage and click compile always keep clicking compile so that is now linked to that but that's part of it done let's go back in here now we're going to edit this uh blueprint here now double click on that and here we are uh so let's just scroll this up here and we're going to add an element down here now and what we're going to do is we're going to have uh event begin play event begin play there we are so we're going to create the widget here so we just go simply drag that on create widget create uh widget where's widget ah, we are create widget okay and the widget we're going to create is going to be health bar widget okay and then we're going to come up here oops we'll promote that to a variable whack whack and then we're going to add it to the viewport add to viewport bump and obviously there so this let's move this over here we'll display it all to the viewport excellent compile it press play bump there's your little you see at the bottom I've got a little widget showing sorted excellent so that is the first thing now 
we're going to create some variables that we need to do so if we go back uh, here over here on the left hand side we're going to create the three variables these three variables are our current health our max health and our regeneration so and they're all going to be floats so oops current health float click compile current health let's set it as 20 uh, max health now max health let's set this for uh, what well, compile it first set this to a 100 oops 100 and then we're going to set obviously the regeneration rate regen i'll just call it regen uh compile that let's just set that i don't know one that one tick per second one bit of health per second so you gradually heal up all right so you should see something we're starting at 20 we're going to 100 we eventually you should see something happening on the progress bar as we, as we progress that's the general theory compile that always keep compiling so now what do we do well we're going to um create a function so over here we're going to create a function and we're going to call this uh call it what i want but i want to call it health uh bar uh update rubbish little notification health bar update so that is my function i've created and we're, the first thing we're going to do i'll explain as i go along we always do what i like a little branch branch bump let's wipe the branch out right okay so let's drag these two variables out and get them both now let's talk about this and let's see if you can understand what i'm saying if your current health is less than your max health we want some sort of regeneration to take place so the amount of health increases you got it so let's 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 talk it let's do the walking walk as we talk so if health is less than or equal to float divided by float max health yeah you got that bit then if that condition is true there then we want regeneration to take place so regeneration let's drag that down here and get that but we want to times that by a sort of a time thing to do with time isn't it so let's slide that up and we're going to create something called get this is one of the built-in function world delta seconds can you see it that's what i was looking for if that that times that we add to current health so it's that times that and we're going to set the current health that's going to get added to that so we're going to create let's get current health and let's get the set this time put it up there because if that's true we're going to increase the health so it's that gets added i put plus Plus, plus plus the current oh I don't know, what are you doing that plus which is float plus float that's where i went wrong that plus that oh cross me little wires but uh can't be bothered <laughs> leave it as it is um so basically that times that we add to the current health provided the current health is greater than the max health because that's the condition of that branch right all this does is increase the health simple really isn't it but uh we want to also display all that in fact i'm going to just do a little um create a comment on that create common group so this is basically this all that does is updates health if max health is is 
lesser. No. Wayne, current health. Current health is less than max health. That's what all that does. Okay. So we've just done a really simple little function there. But we want to display it now, so we'll create another function. Well, not a function. I could do another function, but I'm just going to link it with this function. It's a lot easier, isn't it? Uh, so let's, this one here, basically, we're going to get these two variables again. Uh, da, 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 max health again. Sorry, let's just drag them both up here. Separate little area here so that one divide that divide there we're going to display that way but what are we displaying to we're displaying to something called the um health percentage that we set we're going to i don't know if can pretty compile that working yet health percentage remember here ooh, we've got a variable called health percentage that is we're going to write that is going to get written to that that will change that we want to set that to that so we want to set that so we go set and it's called health percentage isn't it health percentage where is it? So why is it not showing? Set health percentage. There it is. I had to look for it. So that can look link to that. Um, basically, we want to dis we want to display what that health regeneration, but also link it to a widget. And what I had what I'd done over here, I had a little undefined variable. That's the widget. I've just named it display health now. So I'm going to grab that over here, and I'm going to. Uh, get it because that goes to there so this is and so all this here i'm going to create a new comment oops create comment that is displays it displays plays the health okay so there's my function uh, two parts of the function one is updates the health other one displays it uh, I think I made that clear so let's compile that I press play will it work mm, no nothing's happening at all why is that let's have a look uh, so that's our function done oh you know what you've got to call your function haven't you so we're going to call it uh, and the quick way of doing it is an event tick so an event tick, event, 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 tick, bang, we're going to call that function, and the function's called, uh, what did I call my function now, health bar update, um, health bar update, health bar cast to health bar no update 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 there it is that's it it's right in front of my face so there compile it press play there we go excellent you can see it's working now job done uh i always like to comment everything and that is uh my health bar so there we are let's quickly go through it all so that i think people can understand what i'm doing it's very simple stuff it's not really complicated i've not over gone the top so i've got three parts of my blueprint uh, ignore that one i didn't touch that one this help our widget uh, i created first uh, in here i drew the thing the little progress bar and i linked it with a variable called health percentage right which is a float all my variables float by the way uh, in here I created a this function first and all this does is event a beginning to play creates the widget 
uh, displays it up and adds it to the viewport so we can actually see it really simple and most of the gubbins is in this uh, function I created called health bar update I put it into two parts one bit here is the bit that updates it now what you could do is you can create other functions that deteriorate health uh, I could put all that into a separate function I could have that a function that just displays it a function that increases itself a function that decreases itself you can have lots of fun it's really straightforward really to sort of do all this uh, but the end of the day is we end up with a beautiful beautifully simple little health bar for your game i hope you enjoyed that that's wayne Gillette signing off